Hello and welcome to Gina Moon. This is your monthly tarot reading for this new month of October. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. All right, remember that this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. It could be you towards somebody, somebody here towards you. So what that means is feel free to reverse the roles if you feel that they fit better that way. And also, quick reminder for those of you who have booked personal readings, make sure to check your spam folder because that's where I send you all the details, okay? I mean, sometimes the uh, email that I send out goes to your spam folder, okay? That's what I mean. But I'm sending out the emails, okay, to everybody booking personal readings. Just make sure those of you guys who can find the email make sure to check your spam folder okay all right let's see without further ado you are starting with the dominant energy of the drum roll and you have here the number four and it says just breathe i feel like you got this one uh sometime last week maybe it was somebody else i'm not sure but it reminds me of a new version of you it's almost as if here just breathe see this woman she's kind of looking at it looks like, you know, an energetic version of herself, right? There's like stars around it and it's a beautiful kind of new version of her. I feel like here with Just Breathe, it's kind of telling you, be patient, okay? Just breathe, count to 10. It's gonna be a process. It's gonna take time, but I feel like you are right now, you're kind of like entering this new version of your life. And for some of you guys, you're kind of stepping into this new version of you as well with the number four there as well being displayed i do see that the number four has to do with some kind of energy having to do with either your family dynamic where you come from where you were born something of that matter okay but let's go and see what this is all about here for you what is this all about here for you all right so you ooh. The cards want to talk. Okay, not yet. We're still shuffling. Okay, so here you have the Ten of Swords. No, actually the Nine of Swords. Excuse me, the Moon Reverse. Okay, now you could possibly be dealing with the sign of Leo. I also see the sign of Pisces. Okay, let's see what else you have here. Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. I see the sign of Gemini. And at the bottom of the deck, you have here the Ten of Wands. So what the Ten of Wands is saying is that, yeah, I feel like right now you might be feeling a little bit overwhelmed, a little bit burdened, stressed out, that kind of thing. Whether this is, you know, stress coming from your environment, from your job, from your family, or from your own emotions. You're carrying too many, too many thoughts, you know, uh, or too much emotion within you. But this is telling you drop the burden, drop the stress, meaning disconnect from things, people, situations that are not worth your time that are draining your energy okay now i see that something here is stressing you out you're kind of like you know going through sleepless nights you're overthinking you're over analyzing the situation to the point where again you're causing your own stress so i feel like there are some kind of fears that are taking over you now these are just fears what this means is that you know you need to learn how to overcome those fears don't let those fears overcome you okay because again, they're just fears. Here with the moon reverse, yeah, so I see that in your challenge position. Challenging your energy right now, I do see that there is some kind of an energy where you're not sure whether to open up or not because you still feel like you're going through the fog. You feel like you're walking through the fog. You feel like nothing is really clear for you right now. So it's gonna be a little bit challenging for you to make decisions at this particular moment because you kind of feel like, okay, are you in an illusion? Are you just being, you know, kind of like stuck in this kind of illusion? Is this all an illusion or is this real? It's like you can't tell what's real and what's not, okay? Now here with the sun, I do see that you want happiness, you want joy, you want fulfillment. You wanna feel that energy of feeling alive again, okay? Like this little kid, you know, sitting on this horse so you want joy that's what you desire that's what you're looking for now here at the page of cups i see that the root of the issue is that somebody here is not apologizing or not making a move whether this individual made a promise and then they didn't deliver okay but there's some kind of an energy where somebody here may have said they were going to do something okay and they're not really doing that they're not really living up to their promise now i see here that in the recent past there was a lot of love okay 
there was a lot of love in a situation, but somebody here was a little bit reserved with showing some kind of emotion in the recent past. Now, coming towards you in your opportunity, you have the Three of Pentacles. What the Three of Pentacles is saying is that, yeah, coming towards you in the near future, in your opportunity, you're going to have an opportunity to negotiate, okay, with a group of people or with one particular person. You're going to have the opportunity for you to see eye to eye, for you to kind of come to terms with, all right, let's have a win-win situation, right? Now I do see here in your subconscious thoughts, you have the lovers. So you're thinking about some kind of a soulmate union. You're thinking about some kind of a soulmate connection, whether this is what you desire or there is a particular person in your life that you are thinking about, okay? But you feel very drawn to this person. You feel very drawn to their energy. Now I see that the way that a person sees you is they kind of feel like you may have more options options than perhaps, you know, them. They kind of see you as maybe they have a lot of options. Maybe you have a lot of options. You know, it's the energy of them feeling like you're still undecided, like you still haven't really made a choice, a decision about them or about the situation. Okay. Now this individual could also be uh, fearful that you might have other options, that sort of thing. But also here with the two of pentacles, this is your action advice, make a decision. Your action advice is the fact that you are stressed out because you still haven't made a choice. You still haven't made some kind of decision that you know that you have to make, okay? So again, your action advice is make that decision, make that choice and move forward with it. Now, if you do that, there's going to be communication. Somebody here is going to rush in with communication, whether it's somebody here towards you, you towards somebody. I feel like it's somebody towards you, okay? I do feel like it's somebody here, you know, having to say something. It's this person having a lot of pent-up emotions, a lot of pent-up thoughts, and things like that, okay? But let's go ahead and clarify why Just Breathe is here for you. So let's see, why is Just Breathe here for you as your dominant energy? Just breathe. Why is this here for you? So you have here the Four of Swords, the Eight of Wands reversed, the Queen of Swords, and at the bottom here, you have the Four of Cups. So I do see that this could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Whatever sign this is, I do see that this Just Breathe energy has to do with the fact that you really need to be clear on what you want, okay? And also, I do sense that there's a part of you that might be looking at an opportunity, you know, and not recognizing it for what it is. Why? Because you might be thinking negatively. Well, what if this ends up happening? What if that goes wrong, right? And so this is saying, you know, you need to stop thinking about the negative aspects of life and see this opportunity for what it is, an opportunity, okay? Whether it's an opportunity to make more money, of love, you know, something that is good for you. But I do see that either you're bored with life, you're feeling a little bit apathetic, okay? And so that's why it's telling you, okay, just breathe, take a breather, take a break, okay? If you need to recover, if you need to heal, then do that. But I do see that it's going to be a slow moving process here with the eight of wands reverse. There is a slight delay and I feel like that slight delay is happening for a very good reason. Now, the, that reason we're going to find out on the extended, but I do see that here with this queen of swords, what this is saying is you need to be strong. Okay. This is all about kind of like, you know, not letting your, your feelings take over you. Use the energy of your mind. Master your mind. Master your feelings. Master your emotions, okay? It's all about being more rational, more logical, and more practical about this, about the person, people around you, and about the situation, okay? Because the Queen of Swords, you know, she analyzes things very thoroughly. Nobody can pull the wool over her eyes. So this is all about speaking the truth, but also asking for the truth from people around you. We're going to be going into the Entering to see who this person is that you are dealing with, more so about their deeper feelings, thoughts, and emotions for you, their uh, next moves and actions towards you, how the situation is all going to turn out, what's going to be the final result, and we will end the reading with any messages from Spirit. So if you want to check that out, the link to the extended is down in the description box below. And in the extended reading is where we dive deeper into the situation, into the other person's subconscious thoughts about you, their deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves, actions towards you, how the situation is all going to develop and turn out for you, what will be the final result, and we will end the reading with any messages from Spirit. So if you want to check out the link to the extended, you can now find the link to the extended down in the first comment that is pinned down below, as well as in the description box below. 
And I finally got good news from YouTube regarding the situation that has been happening with my channel. Make sure that if you do like these videos, if you do want to support the channel, comment down below. Even if it's just commenting down an emoji, it really helps support me and my channel. And now you can check out all of your readings that I've posted for your sign in the first comment that is um, pinned down below. You will find all of your weekly readings from this week. Last week, you will also find all of your monthly readings for this entire month, your mid-monthly readings, your blessings readings, and more. So make sure to check out the first comment that is pinned down below so that you can check out all of those readings for your sign for this entire month. Thank you all so much for your support. Take very good care of yourselves and until next time, bye-bye. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with Simon psychic source so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on psychic source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my psychic source partnership is down in the description box below. And check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop and follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.